Dear Father, we praise your name in this morning and thank you the privilege to make part of our family, to have chosen us, of all of our creations, Lord, to make us in your image. And even with the sin of the, your, the human being, in the person of Adam and Eva, in the original sin, even you loved us. And you rescued us. And that was the unique way to rescue us in the person of Jesus Christ in a personal way. And he died first and he resurrected the first day and opened the door which we can go back for you. And we can have this relationship again that you gave, gave you for us when you create us. And your process of love and the care and the relationship that you have before the creation of the earth, dear Father, we love you and we worship you and thank you for this biggest love in this morning, teach us and show us the value of the church and show us what you want for us to do. We ask you, in the name of Jesus, amen. We are talking about the church and the church to be. We have a lot of churches today. There is a, a church here that there are 10 churches on this street. Uh, one day, a, a brother in faith said, I need to open a church on my, on my avenue. And how many churches do you have there? I asked him. And he said, I have four there. But there, there are a lot of churches in our city. And there are two also some cities that don't, don't have, it doesn't have a, a church. But in the north, we have a lot of church. And, and there are church of so many ways uh, with uh, a lot of uh, 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 names uh, uh, so many strange names for the church that we have here it's incredible and and actually, we don't give that value for the church. And we need to review the value for the church because the church, because Jesus teaches and Paul and, and Peter gave us the, the example. You, you may you do something for wrong for the church is worse than you kill or stole something and we lost this value for, of the church and that's why we are studying about the church the values of the church and what god wants for us for the church God, when created us for his relationship, a family to love, he planned us before to create the earth. He created us with this capacity. Actually, we are little gods. We have the capacity to think and to decide, to taste, to touch, to see to feel and so this this wonderful things is because god wanted us to be his family and we are little gods there is a passage of genesis that you are son of god we are created by god 
é de God, so a Lois de primeiro casal this choice for us to to choose and the first couple said no for God and the God respected because we have this power to decide what we want. But that couple that decides that God will won't be his God, their God, they are going for a place that don't have God. I think it's it's uh, like for black black points. It's like that when you don't allow God to be your God, but God, when he created the human being, he created the human being in an interesting way because a big, big, the interesting thing that we have is the faith because God is invisible and we believe in, in Him. It's like the wind, we know that the wind exists. We don't see the, the wind, but we know that the wind is there. And only the, the crazy people say that there isn't God. But God understands this need for the human being to have something that can touch. It's like the kids, if you are, um, your mother go for a travel, and in the trip, in the, the, someone calls for the mother of the kids and says, and put the phone in his in the ear of the kid, and the mom says, "Hi, my son." And what does the kids do? And the kid wants to touch if he, my, his, uh, their, his mother is there. And the kid wants to touch and they put it in his mouth. So the, the human being wants to feel, to touch. It's like when you want to, to go through a door and they want to touch. And the human being has the need to touch everything. So God created in this way. We have the, the capacity to, to think in the abstract, but we want to, to feel, to talk. And that's why when Israel was get away from the Egypt, they, they saw God that opened the, the sea and the hold on that sea for the Israelites to go through and the after. The Israelites saw a God that allowed his uh, bread coming for the earth. And, but they wanted to see God. And that's why he, they, they made a, a God for, for them of, of gold. And there are some scriptures that talk about God, and they say that he, actually we, we eat with God, we see God, we walk with Him. God is, is real. We, we need to understand that God is real. The anything that you can see here, the dispersion that is in your side. But since in Israel, God was preparing the people for a reality that he is going to bring for us. And he detailed how would be the tabernacle that was a tent with gold, a silver and and God put in that place and we, he finished everything he went with his presence and Philip with that place and the saints of, 
a fire in that place for the per people see, could see that he was there. But he, he wasn't dwelling there place because actually God dwells in us. God uh, is more, is biggest than the universe. And the Bible says that even the universe can hold God, because actually the universe is in God. Because they, he is the strange that is make everything to, to fix and to be in your place, right place. There was a presentation that a kid was singing a song that his, uh, God is so great. And God, our God is so great. And God sent a little of your presence in that time, for that place, for the people have something concrete to understand the need for us to touch, to put in our mouth, to see. We have this need, the physical way. So God made the tabernacle, and since there, the people knew that uh, with the signals that we he was here, and when they wanted to be near for God, they could to see that tabernacle and have the search that the presence of God was there. Not God, but His presence. And when the tent was there, when they got up the, their tent, so they always put it the part the door in front of the tabernacle because they wanted to see the tabernacle to remember God but years after the tent was uh, going down and the Bible says that they were living in so many tents, but actually they have they had only the ark and the silver plate. The rest, everything had already been reformed. So David. He said, God, I want to to build in a holy mouth that today is the foundation of the antical tabernacle. I want to build here a temple of stones, something great because you are great, something beautiful because you are beautiful. And and the prophet said, oh, made what is in your heart. But God said, no, I don't want, to. I don't dwell in that place. I am a great God. I don't, I don't dwell in a place that is built with stones, with uh, in the woods. I'm so big for that. All these things live in me. I don't live in this place in made of hands of the people. For you understand that God is great. If the universe is inside of God, you know the diameter, just the, the wide of the universe. The, the wide of the universe. You know how, what is the velocity of the light? It's the time that it takes for this this light get out, uh, get in your, in your in your eyes. It's so fast, it's so fast. It's just only eight seconds for the light of the sun getting in your eyes. So it's very fast. São oito anos a velocidade de mais ou menos, ah, parece que são 300 mil km por hora. É 
So it's very, very large. Just eight seconds for the light to get out in your brain. But the, the light, it's, it's very fast. Again, 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 again. It's something indescribable. Now let's talk. Year light. One year light is the distance that the light takes in a, one year. And in one sec seconds, the light travels 30,000 kilometers. How many days there is a, in a year? This is the. It's one year light. The wide of the universe is 93. It's 93 uh, billions, 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 é o tanto que o pessoal roubou na Lava Jato, né? Billions, 93 billions or 100 billions of years light. My God is a God great. It's so just God is so great. And every year, this white is is big, gets bigger and bigger. And the people say, the science says, so. If it, the wide of the universe is expanded, so this means that the universe, the world, have at least 60 billions of the years. No, you crazy. No, you fool. When God created, he created everything in his pla its place. In everything in its place already. Did you understand? My God is a God great. Great. So our God is so big. So big. So big. So, God created, God can't dwell in a house. He said, David, I can't dwell in a house. But I understand that you want to say something that you can't see. This is the house of my God. It's where God dwells. So, I will send my presence. But it's your son that you build this temple, beautiful with silver and wood and the stuff. And they bring brought the best of the earth. And when they end, so God uh, ordered to get out, to throw away that old stand. And he sent lights from the heaven, and the fire come from the heaven, that place, and it, that was that big thing. And if from that that moment, the people knew that that was the presence of the God who was. Where the people wanted to hear God, it's like the same old ma mother did. She waited for the tabernacle because she knew that the presence of God was there. So from that moment, that saint was thrown away and led to exit and the tabernacle started to be the, the it was that place that Jerusalem that God chose it to be his place and after the second tabernacle was built and God kept it to, to dwell, in, dwell in that place. 
God was there. So along during that, that time and finally Herod, before Jesus was born, he made a magnificent temple and the, everyone wanted to get out of Jerusalem to be there in that place and he wanted to see that temple that was built by here Herod, and in that place kept to be the place where the presence of God was, where the people could to thought to see. But Jesus, do you remember the, that one day he saw and he said, I you destroy this temple. And then you, you built him in three days. And it was the, the accusation that it made for him. It take, and everyone was talking bad for Jesus. But what happened when Jesus dies? The curtain separated. The curtain was broken to part because that temple there was anymore the presence of God, and that's why the after God order to destroy and to to get to put fire and the stones of a big wall that was there only very exit so the Holy Spirit was there the prayer of God is not there anymore and Jesus three days after Build a, built a new temple that is the church. The church is the place, physical place, touchable place, something that you can see. Where the presence, not God, but the presence of God dwells through his Holy Spirit. It's the new temple, it's the first temple. The tabernacle is the temple of Solomon and the temples that came after him that was only the reforms and now the church the church is the new temple of God in Hebrews chapter 12 Hebrews chapter 12 in verse 21, says, Moses said, The sight was so terrified that Moses said, I am trembling and afraid. Instead, you have come to Mount Zai and to the city of the Lamb of God, the heavenly Jerusalem, with its thousands of end, who have come to the joyful gathering of God's firstborn whose names are written in heaven, have come to God, who is the judge of your... 22, instead you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, with it, you have come to the joyful gathering, the church of the first ones, you have come to the joyful gather of God's firstborn, whose names are written in heaven, you have come to God, who is the judge of all people, and to the spirit of good people made perfect. The church is the new temple of God. Do you remember when he built the New tabernacle that you had that thing, and this the same day, God says, "You you want to get out of Jerusalem while this wasn't happy because I you inaugurate my church." Jesus had passed through there. The people, the the world, you see that my presence, you be here in my in the church. That. But now, 
It was a, a church of stone, a wood, but of people that is of meat. We are the holy place of God. We are the precious stones of God. We are the... And the principal, the main the mainly stone is Jesus that dwells. The presence of God dwells in that heart that allow him, that accepts him as a God. Do you remember in the tabernacle a man called Yusa the people was carrying the ark and he thought that the ark would fall off and he thought in the diet. Do you remember? Do you remember the, the, the Abraham's son, Aaron, Aaron? In that time, they took an um, object that we, we fired and the diet. And the, and the same thing started in the temple. God manifest his place for the people who could understand that it was the place of the presence of God that it was sacred. But where the church was, it was like the tabernacle that was in every place. Where the, we are the holy place, but God wanted for us to understand that the same value that God is a God to, for you to fear, to honor, to love, but when you are sin against him, you need to, to fear him. You remember, Safir and Ananias, God wants to let so clearly they they tried to to lie for the church and they died because God wanted to get clear that He is God, and that's why the Apostle Paul writes in First Corinthians chapter one: People have be careful with the church to don't separate with your ways. If you, if you do something wrong for the church, this can kill you. Paul says, there are a lot of you that are ill because you did something wrong with the church. There are some politics that don't understand this. The church is like the eyes of God. You can't do something wrong for the church. So all of this is important because we need to learn to respect, to love, and to care if, if this church. We are along of the week to study what God wants for your church. And God calls you for to be a stone. Like a body, there have members, but each of them is very important and connect with one another. And what connects us is the love and the blood of Jesus that forgive our sins. So we talk about six E's. And the first one that we talk is to spread. Spread the gospel. We have God wants to first to be his voice, to be his body that goes for all the earth to spread his gospel. The man don't need, doesn't need to go for their hell, that he can be saved, that he can be redeemed, that he can turn back for God again, to go back for the original project of God. The, the door 
there, there, there is a door for us to go to heaven. This is the good news. The first is the abstract. You make your decisions, but physically, you got to understand that you need to have something physical. It's like the, uh, the confinement of the, the couple. So let's do something physical for the people know that. Since this day, I'm from the Lord, and that is the baptism. And in the temple, there was all the scriptures of Moses, all the laws, all the commandments of God was there. And every day was read for the people that, that was going for that place all every day because God understood that tabernacle and now the church would be his voice, the, his school where he taught his followers, your sons, how to live in a way that pleased him. That's why our second ingredient of, of our church is to teach. This makes part of our mission. A church had to have to teach. Some church, big church, don't have the, the teaching. And I have a list that a big, big church but don't have the teaching of his word. And there are, there are so many pastors that visit us and say, we, yeah, we need this teaching in our church. And they learn here because they understood this need of the teaching. Because without this, the the people will not please God. So we need to give this value for the teaching. And we are going to, to, to make you teach because we want you to understand the word of God. You, you don't have to be full in this area. We need to know the Bible, to know what God wants for our lives. Our, our country is the first one that is Christian. And also, that is corrupt, a son that don't have a father, that, that has a lack of a lack of a father, but because we have a lack of a teaching, and we have a teaching here, we can see the difference in, in, in the life of the, the kids, of the couple. We can see this difference of the, the study of the Bible, because it's the, this word that transforms your life. You are not to transform your life if you don't study his word. And here we, we spend a lot of time studying. Because we want to be top, to live in a way that pleases God, because we know in the end we are going to be succeed. And we learn it as well in the first, first to join, to join, to make part of something. You can't be a, 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 a block alone. Anyone can build something with only one block. This don't exist. It doesn't exist. Mm. 
Por quê? Porque Because God led for Paul and Peter, you need to be connected with one another. A block is not a house if it, he doesn't, it doesn't have a block in above and the side. If you want to be part of the holy place of God, you don't know that you are the holy place of God. You are the place where God to Else. So that's why you need to join to make part of something. There are some people that are growing about the, the theology. It's a arguing without a notion because it's like the man. They are the universal man. The man, the man was created in the image of God. But do you, do you want to marry with this the man? No, this man is abstract. We are not to have someone that is the, the man or the woman is a concept. So the man realize yourself when you have a body. The woman is a woman when she is a, a feminine body. A female body. So now you can get married with this man or woman. It's like the concept of the Holy Spirit. The church don't ex it doesn't exist when for you to make part of the, the church of God, you need to, to join a church. You don't have to be only in a block. You don't have to only believe. You need to, to go for a church. You need to, to make part. You need to enter in a group, in a ministry, to join. Why? Because the Bible says when you get gathering one another, it's like the cement in a block. This cement is the love. Love again. Do you want the abstract love or do you want the love that pay, pay that cars or help you in that need or go to visit in a hospital and bring joy for your heart? Or do you want, do you, you want the concrete love? You are going to have this concrete love when you make part of a little group when you make part of the church, you need to be more participant. The love is not only um, to say beautiful words and give chocolate. But the Bible says that the father disciplined, disciplined his son. So you can, you can. And this is the love that God wants for us, that we have with each other. You have the Holy Spirit, you have the Bible, you can, you can say what your brother is doing wrong. So the love is this connection, and it is only happening when you are joining it. Sometimes you come in a time or or a day you are not a church. You are the, a block, only block. So we talk about last week about the Europe. So the part of the work is to spread the gospel, to join, to teach, to call other people to know God. So the work of God, we put it. We, you need to gear. You need to. You need to pass this energy. We do the work of God. We talk about the ministry today. If you don't have the ministry, make it the courtesy. Um, com Deus. 
And in January, when we have our ministry fair, you can enter in a ministry. You can already have. You can already help in the ministry here in, in the Um Sonho de Natal. You can help us. You need to understand what to learn what. What is need of you? You you can invite invite people for the um sonho de Natal. You can be that person that use the social media to invite people for this. So God wants you to gear up in the world. You can be a, a gear, a lucky gear in the backyard. You need to be together in the project. God created dependents of each other. We need everyone. It doesn't work in this. You alone. Você sozinho, você desanda. You alone Deus fez, Deus don't go well. So God made you to make part of something to be with other people, to have company. I'm not forcing you. It's like that brother. It's the pressure of that people make first. Ele queria pular fora. Graças a Deus que tem aí uma força aí. A pessoa diz, vem, vem, vem trabalhar. Ei, so pula, come to nada, work, nada, you are not doing nothing. Help us to clean here. Let's to wash here or um, fix the... Let's fix these or that. So, Griot is very important. Today we are going to talk about exalt, to exalt. Our fifth mission is to exalt. To exalt, exalt uh, is related to shine, to blow, glory. 1 Corinthians, Corinthians capítulo 10, chapter 10, 10, verse 31. So, whether you eat or drink or ever you do, do all to the glory of God. Glory means shine for the people can be can see the shine of God, the beauty of God. Everything in our life, like a church and the FAM, one of the stones of the church, when they are looking for me, they are looking for the temple. When you get in a, in a Edifice, a beauty, you can't see everything. Only if you have a, you can see everything, only if you have a bionic eyes of robots, but you don't have this kind of eyes. So, when the people see, saw, see the temple, even that the tabernacle of Moses and the, the Solomon or the heroes, they couldn't see everything in one way. They see one part for time. It's like us, the people will see your life. Wow, how beautiful thing. And they are going to see after another part. Look that. So nice. It's very nice. Look at this beautiful temple of God. Oh, I could... I I don't imagine that it was in this way. The people are in see your life. The Bible says that you are a priestess stones. You are reflecting the shine of God. If you are from the church, you reflect the people are seeing your life. And they are seeing the glory of God in your life, the shine of God in your life. Now we are going to talk about this. Your soccer needs to, to make 
Ele diz, Puxa Jesus vida. shine. Esse pessoal é, é, joga diferente. Esse pessoal realmente a gente vê que é um pessoal que se ama, um pessoal que. The people que need to say. Assim, Oh my God, these people shining Jesus. The other day I was here and I was visiting a little group. And I discovered that he is a ex-professional of soccer. And they asked, why we don't play soccer? And they I answered, because for the men, it's very different. It's very difficult. For them, glorify the name of God because can happen fight, are going because that fruit of it that don't please God is what we can see in the man. In the in the camp of the teens, I saw something of the teenagers that I didn't like, and that. É os cinco que sabe jogar bem e só ainda não I argue. Não, se nós vamos jogar esporte, so, não é para brincar. If you are going então, to play something, you... então, we want tempo, to play. Marca por tempo. Olha só, pequenas coisas, some pequenas coisas. Little things. Que às vezes ninguém ensinou para some... gente. That Mas é sometimes that you... some one eu, eu, eu haven't teach us. Mas sabe, eu jogo meus 10 minutos, eu saio. Porque, I'm porque good eu in uh, soccer, but when it takes 10 minutes, I get out of the, the game because I want to glorify the name of God. I know who I am and I know that I can do something that can't please God. So that is the thing that makes God shine. God shines in your life when do you don't do receive bribe a tip. So when don't you when you don't receive a bribe a tip, you make God shine in your life. God is shining your life. God shines when that man was a, a bad person that betrayed his woman and he turned his heart for God. He changed and he started to be an educated man and he became a, a father, a real father for his kids and he take time for his kids, spend time with his kids and he and the people say, this is possible, this is possible, this is different, this, this man is different, but you know who shines? Jesus that you shine. And the people say, do you know something? I'm going for that holy place, I'm going for that place because that people is different. I want to see, I want to see what is that. That's what, that's what God is saying for us. And the, that's why he says that he wants us to have a holy life. The first one that God wants for you is the holy life. It's a, it's a fight. And God wrote this in a many chapters in his Bible about to have a holy life because he knew that you we could have difficulties to have it. But the Holy Spirit is in you and there is no condemnation for you. You are going to heaven, you are not lost your salvation and you are going to change. And you can't change. God give, gave you a, the capacity to be a smart person. A strong person, a convicted person. You say no for the suggestions that the words give you, and they God give you this ability to have a strong person, determined person. The Timothy is saying, if you receive this Holy Spirit, and this Holy Spirit is strong, is not weak, why did you make this? Why did you betray your wife? For a, for a woman, any woman, 
I be very, very angry with people that betray his wife. Be man. The spirit of God that enter you is a spirit of courage, oh, reckless love, and the power. And the, I don't know when you see a beautiful woman, you, you melt yourself, everything. If a man can't drink, can't drink a wine without to get drunk, you don't have, you can't. Make God shine in this way. You don't have to drink wine. So whether witch or drink, you need to glorify God. There are some people that need to glorify God in your food. Close your mouth. Have a good habit. I can understand that a young, a younger that can't kiss a girl that is already wants to to go to have sex with the girl. Say no for your nature. God says no and obey him. There are some women that is attracted by a woman, but you need to say no for your nature. Sometimes I want to kill people. The society says if you have something, this bad thing in your life, you need to say no. You need to away from this, those things. Did you understand? The Spirit, the Holy Spirit in me, He taught me how to put a limit on, on my natural, natural being for, for me to... I, I am. I want to to the yelling for everything, but the Holy Spirit taught me that is not in this way, and he, he taught me to control this because God needed to shine in me. And he, when a person saw you in a storm and you in a calm way and making the this right decisions, this make God shine, this make the temple of God be beautiful, and that, that you can't do for the glory of God is sin for you, is a sin for you, so let to do that can be a game or a dating or work, a job. If you are working in a place that you can't glorify God, you need to get out of there. You need to get fight. We have already people that did this and they made God shine. A man that saw that he couldn't to, to keep your whole life and he get out of his job and God blessed him many times, not only if the financial way, but in another areas of his life. So the first time that God wants for us is the Holy Spirit. John 58, this is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit. This is the this is the, the mainly uh, to for the duration for worship for Jesus. My childhood, there was a song that says, "Shining in your your living." That's what God wants for you. Shine Jesus in your living. Kids, youngers, women, men, olders. God wants you to worship you. God, look at the Psalms 92. 
Salmo? Salmos 92. 92. Como é bom It's good to praise him. It's good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High. Proclaim your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night to the music of the tin shrinkers lyre and the melody of the harp. For you make me glad about your deeds, Lord. I sing joy you know, at your hands have done. How great are your works, Lord? How profound are your faults? When we worship God and they are worship or praising, what get out of our mouth is connect with our heart because we only talk what is in our heart. That's why when we praise God, we need to to forget to take off all the obstacles. This is difficult for who is leading the praise. We need to only the praise of God and you worship God. How is great when we praise God? It's like when the, the husband take the hands of his wife and, and, and says how you are beautiful, how I love you, how I like you. When that uh, boy and he hug his father and say, I love you, my father. It's, it's like our praises for God. We talk for God what we feel for him. I know that for me is a little difficult than for a woman, but you are happy when you know how to praise God. In Hebrews, chapter 13 says that our true praise is what our mouth says, I am from the Lord and He is mine. The first way to exalt God is love each other. And the John 1435 says, Everyone you know that you are disciples if you love one another. There is a, a belief that says, that uh, lo love my brothers there is heaven, but loving one another in these words is, is very different. But God wants you to wants, wants you to love one another, to carry each other. Last week I was visiting a person that was with cancer and is going for a surgery, and the family is so. But, but that's all. Uh, person, people of his little group in caring for her and prepare some food. This for good. There's no price. This is what God wants. God says, I, am, I was will and you visiting me. You visited me. When we love each other, God becomes visible. And the first John 4, 12, no one has ever seen God. Why? 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 Why has ever seen, hasn't ever seen God? Why hasn't ever seen God? Because God is spirit. Spirit is a, a force, a strange energy that don't have a body. So no one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, 
1 John, John 4:12. But if we love one another, God abides in us and Deus His love ser, is perfect brilhar, in us. Everyone will know that we are His disciples. God will be seen through our life. So if you are go, coming for a life, you need to understand that you are not only to be loved, but you are going love, to love também. Also, you love and you are loved. You love and you are loved. There are some people that only want to be loved and not loved. There are some people that only want. That says only give, give. No, you give and you receive, loving each other. And God is exalted on it. When we love each one another, the people say, see God in us clearly. So now we are going for a sixty mission that is the spread. What is the spread? Spreading. How I thought it. Uh, there is a lot of churches. There exists a lot of, but church that really understand its function in the society, in the temple of Jesus Christ, where the presence of God it is is few churches. So. God went to op open it our eyes for this. So we also have this need to spread. It's like our brother said, I want to open a nib in my avenue. But open one more church. That is there, and the people stay fighting with each other and singing, and anyone can see God in that place. No. No. It's enough of church in this way. We want a church as God has shown for us how it can be. A church that is uh, in the midst of God, where the people can see God. So this is this is very important for us to open church, to spread church. There is a church in Castanho that is double in numbers, and I saw people there that love God and study the Bible. I saw, we understood what is the church that God wants. This is the kind of church that we want to spread. I was a little uh, Saturday is a day that that I want to to rest a little and but he calls me the pastor calls me to preach there and it, I spent a lot a long time to to arrive there and uh, you spent a long time in, in the in the boat and stay this way, the motor. Have you already traveled in a boat? And Castanho for me is a, a place that is harder and harder because Castanho is a hot place. I'm going to tell him a story and then I say, oh, for what God? And my heart was proclaimed. I was, I was belting and my wife said, I'm not liking of this, this trip. And she, she was here in Manaus. And she was feeling, I'm not liking this trip. 
And uh, when I arrived there, we didn't have a church part, and the walking that the street, uh, we feel a lot of... With the dust, and there wasn't uh, any car to take us there, and there was only a, a cabby that is very expensive. So I thought, so I, I'm going walking. When I went to Carreiro, the lights go away. It's a, a gift that I have. When I arrive there, the light go, goes away. In the last year, the light goes away. But when I arrive in the church, I say, wow, and it, it changes everything. And you see the shine of God, and His, and your heart. There, you feel with joy, and you see the chains, and the, the adults, and you see a church is spreading the gospel of God, and they growing, and you say, it's worthy for you to spend your life, entire life, for God. And it's repeating in all of the parts of Brazil, this work. We have 22 churches directly related for us, connect that is spreading little nibs of new Baptist church. Around and yesterday I was talking with uh, Eliana that we have uh, little clubs for kids that uh, teach the words for them. We have a lot of here already, thanks to God. And this program is so beautiful for let kids to know the words of God and programs that make Teens understand the immorality, don't please God. Immorality, the perversity, don't please God. We have so many cities in Brazil that the people is open. The little New Baptist Church, and we are growing, and some church growing more than others. A man said that he didn't want to be pastor, and now his church is with 2,000 members. And everything that we, may, we do here in another church is being made. We have little clubs in Japan, in Colombia, in Peru. Peru, we have a, the course One of God, Um Com Deus, here, and I, I know a, a woman that is going for Cuba, and the, there, there isn't a New Baptist Church, but there, there, is, the, there is the course One of God. So we want you, when you contribute with your offerings, we are spreading the church of God, we are spreading the gospel of God, we are helping on it. We are in, uh, we have um, a group that knows how to speak Spanish for check this program for the people that speak Spanish as well. Adivinha, esse povo vai voltar para o seu país e vão levar uma nova para honra e glória de Deus. That came from the Venezuela and I believe that the new, there will be a new Baptist church there too. So we are you are treinando aí direto, não fala isso. Train so you are in give the practice of this couple for take the new Baptist church for Venezuela 
because we understand the importance of this. For the honor of glory, we want a lot of people that know how to speak Spanish and learning and learning about the word of God. That's what God Esse wants é for His church. This is the temple of God. This is the temple. É um e nós que isso and we want that it, this could be the way that God Amigo, wants. Are you with me? Se você quer uma If assim, you você want a, a church assim, like então this, certo, so you came for the right place. So we need to be a, a precious stone to Jesus. be. Uh, in your right place and make it his glory shine. We want to finish this preach, the service with a song. And I want us as well uh, to to sing a song that anyone can sing because so is very old. But let's stand up and praise the name of God. You are my rock, you are my security, secure, my mouth, you always exalt your name. Hallelujah, I worship you, for I know that above everybody you are the Lord. Hallelujah. I worship you. For I know that you you are Lord. Be exalted. A God of my life. You are the God of my salvation. You are my rock. I'm, you are my secure, secure. My mouth, you always praise you. Hallelujah. I worship you. For I know that above everybody, you are Lord. Hallelujah. I worship you, for I know that you're Lord. Worship his name. Worship his name. Dê um abraço nesse portador do seu lado. The person that is in your side. That have the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Have a, a great week with shine.